Have you ever wondered how you can build more confidence? How you can grow more confidence? Well, today you're in luck because I'm going to share with you some tips on how you can build your confidence. Hey, I'm Mark Nelson. I'm a success coach, an online marketer. I help people grow businesses and grow their confidence. Here's the thing. Confidence is a choice. You get to choose if you're confident or not. Now, I know you're probably going, what the heck are you talking about? But have you ever been in a situation where you're going to do something? And it could be anything. Maybe it's to do a video. Maybe it's to speak. Maybe it's just to be in front of people that you don't know and you're just really nervous and you're kind of going, ooh, I don't know if I want to do this. Well, see, it, it's a choice of how you can be confident in that situation or not. See, I've talked to you before about imposter syndrome where you're thinking all these thoughts, gosh, I'm not good enough. Oh, man, who the heck's going to listen to me? I don't think I'll be good on video. Well, see, that's a choice. You're listening to those thoughts. You're listening to those ideas that are bouncing around in your head, and you are becoming unconfident. And it shows. It shows in your posture. It shows in your facial expressions. It shows in how you talk. But I'm going to share with you some ideas. Now, they're not all my ideas, and I like to really kind of talk to people who and tell you where I got these from. This is a book I'm reading. It's called The Essential Guide to Neuro Logistic Programming, and NLP. Right? And we all do NLP. Whether you know it or not, you do it. But this is by Tom Hubiar and Tom Dotes with Susan Sanders. But he talks about how you can create confidence. And I loved it. To tell you the truth, I've been doing it all my life. I use I am statements, but he does something really different. And here's what you should do. Get out a piece of paper and write down little victories. It could be from your youth. See, one I wrote down that I helped a lady shovel her snowbank. It made me feel really good. It was an older lady. She was out shoveling, and this was back in Wisconsin, and she had like two foot drift to go through. And I'm walking by, I said, Hey, want me to do that for you? And I felt so good doing it. So that was a little victory to me. Now, what I want you to do is write down your little victories and big victories. Maybe it is making your first video, how that felt when it got done, when you uploaded it. Maybe it's writing a book. Maybe it's writing a blog post. Maybe it's speaking in front of people. Maybe it's asking a girl out. Or a guy. I don't know what those victories are for you. But write them down. Now, but the thing is, when you write them down, write them down in an act of thought. Meaning, remember how you felt. See, I remember Shelly on that sidewalk, and it made me feel really good. Nobody told me to do it. But she needed help. I was a young kid. I could help her. It made me feel really good. Asking my wife out on a date scared me to death. But when I asked her out and she said yes, oh man, cloud nine. The first video I did, that was one of them. I won a speaking contest in front of a thousand people. I had to change shirts. I was sweating so bad. But I did it. And when I got done, it, it felt so good. It, now, I was not confident going up there, but when I started speaking, I became more confident and more confident. Now, I don't know what makes you confident. I don't know your little victories or your big victories. But here's what, what you need to do. Write them down. And then read them. But when you read them, read them like you're there. Read them so that thought comes through. The feeling comes through. Don't just read them like you're going to sleep. Yeah, I did this. No, man, I helped this lady shovel her sidewalk. It felt so good. Get back in that process and go through and read all these victories, little victories and big victories down and actively think about how you felt. Now, so here's the key. When you're going to do something that's going to be I want to say stressful, but, you know, you're just going, oh, I don't know if I can do this. 
remember one of those little victories actively. Right? Whether it's speaking in front of the crowd, whether it's doing a video, remember how it felt when you did it. And I guarantee that you're going to feel more confident. You're going to be so jacked. You're going to just go up there and do it. Your energy is going to show. People are going to go, what the heck is with this guy or with this girl? That's how this stuff works. It's NLP, and you do it all the time. Little things that you put together, whether they're anchors or thoughts, but this one is a great activity for you to build your confidence. Hey. If you're watching this later, I'm going to put a link down below, but it's marknelsononline.com forward slash schedule, a little hyphen, a little hyphen, free, a little hyphen call. Let's do a brainstorming session. I don't know what you got going on, but maybe we can help each other. It's free. Well, yeah, get to know each other and see what happens. Hey, you take care and glow with their new confidence.